guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Hiragato Sky Pretty Cares. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what the heck happened. Wait, no, today is like the, the cooking episode, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit. She wants to be awesome too. Oh, baby. Oh my god, my little. That part was new, right? Because they never added the, the freaking wand. That makes me want to go back to last week's episode. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god. We gotta celebrate. Plus, he's also, you know, first play. So, <gasps> yes! No! Mm hmm. So, we're doing it. Yeah. Okay, airplanes and feathers and birds. What is that? Like cotton candy? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
the fact that he knew about the Maripad before we did. <laughs> Contact your parents. No, oh, look at the. The mirror pad has everything, honestly. Isn't that just... Yeah. <laughs> and how are we going to find these ingredients, though? Mm -hmm. thing is have either one of y'all three have cooked before we know like <laughs> it's a boss no Sora maybe <laughs> mm-hmm <laughs> Go on, eat it. Good. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, like, is it more sweeter and such? Okay, what about the beans? Okay. Do you want a more bittery, more sugary? <laughs> Pumpkin and <laughs> chocolate and sweet potato. <laughs> See, now with this, I'm just getting, like, kitty kitty a la mode. Like, hella vibes. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh. Potato fucking. <laughs> it was like, we have everything ready. You can try it all. The pumpkin one sounds really good. And with the chocolate. So? No? No. Oh. Hmm? Sit. 
Sora? I mean, I don't know if salmon would be good in it, but you can try. That's so sweet. You want to make it together. He's so desperate that he's selling sweet potatoes. I mean, seriously, you're a side character. Just stay in your lane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> treating him with such it. Oh my god. But we all knew it was you anyway. I mean, <laughs> sometimes I wonder <laughs> how stupid he thinks we are. We're like, yes, oh my god, nobody's gonna figure out that that's actually him. Oh my god, yes, we're just gonna go and play sleep <laughs> Okay, now are we seeing? There you go. Okay, good ass start. All right, now, are we putting them all together? That's the big issue right now. <laughs> like, please. Give me like a minute of it, come on. Okay. But that's not really what I was thinking, like kind of merging it, but I still like it. it it's something that I kind of wanted still. But if you look at the biggest thing as I was also expecting is to separate all three, but it's okay. I love it regardless. There you go. That's how you do that. That's how you actually do that. <laughs> Just imagine, like, all four of Remember how last week it was just the two of them, or no, the week before, the two of them and their basic standing menacingly their pose. Now we got an even better standing menacingly pose. I still love it, even though 
a lot of us feel a certain type of way. So hopefully when Butterfly comes in, it's a little bit better. Excuse me. Oh, don't listen to him. I mean, seriously, if it wasn't for her, who knows where these two would be? A double punch, kind of tells me that with the wand that they're using of course you know baby bird he has one it's just he's not gonna get one of these until butterfly comes in which just suck a little teeny 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 tiny bit but it's okay i'm fine with waiting i've waited and i'm currently waiting and i'm fine with that i sure am Because I feel like, well, we'll share that at the end.
Awesome. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Mhm. Mm that was what you know gave you those like memories coming back to. Oh, look at our little family. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh god what should i should i even say anything no wait you know what no you know what screw it i'm gonna do it you know what it's so funny because now when i look at her and seeing how far little miss star has come and my opinion on her it, it's kind of really because it's weird i think like a while back ago i think about maybe like a year ago, I, I sat and I rewatched the first episode of Star Twinkle and it made me realize like, yeah, she's not as bad as, as the protagonist is like I thought she was. Yes, and like the other part, she was a little like that, but it's okay. Still love her. She She's not in the top for me, but she still is a fave. She's still, she's like in... I would say she's she's around the second half. That's what we'll say. But today was a really good Machido focus episode. Like, really, it, it's still focused on everyone. Clearly, I love the fact that you know necessarily Machido became the leader and such. It was really sweet. Like, yeah, do, keep doing that. Keep doing that. Like, yes, smart. You know, mm, <laughs> healing good. We looking at you because you know you didn't give them a chance. Just saying, so this is also the time where, yes, having them all get turns, not just having just one girl, one being the main focus, you know, being the leader. It, oh my God, I got to <laughs> You see? Oh, they're going camping. Oh. Okay. All right. So I got I got to talk about this. The little the elephant in the room of Akiha <laughs> Tsubasa. Okay. So some people are initially going to get this. Um my one person is not going to get this because of the fact is with him he has not seen this particular pretty curious series. Um so with not him good. I was about to say the wrong one. With Hagato and this is my favorite freaking episode of Hagato. There's this one episode where, um, of course, our last two cures, way before they became cures, um, Emiru and Nulu, like, they hung out for an episode together. It, it's literally one of the best freaking episodes of that season. I mean, ever, almost like any episode where we had a lot of emotional impact in Hagato was good. I still think it's personally, like, one of my top 10 favorite series, I mean, seasons of Pretty Care in a Nutshell. But like I said, these two hang out for a whole episode. And if you know the situation of Emidu and Lulu, especially um, Lulu, uh, Lulu Android, baby, 
literally no emotion. She has, <laughs> think of Laura, but like if Laura had, <laughs> if Laura was an android, because of course, <laughs> Baby had her faces over here. You know, she was the mean queen of that year because homegirl was over here like, judging like if you want to talk about judging i mean yes laura from tropical rouge queen freaking judge like everybody she was judging reading shading everybody but before that <laughs> oh my god um and so there's a moment like where you look at these two and you're like okay you two really work together and such and dead ass and stuff and so there's like it, it's really funny because they were talking about becoming pretty cares and such and, and that was really like emmy do and out of nowhere like they end up doing like the opening theme song to hug a toe which was super random at the time because i think none of us expected that to come out so like when it popped up in, in like the episode and we were hearing it again i like immediately busted out laughing and such so i mean you know at first with those two they really didn't like each other but they were like you know hey um i tolerate you or really more of <laughs> lulu tolerated emmy do until they finally found the one thing that really connected them together which was their love of music and such and that's how they became this like badass duo and stuff because there was there's times like even in my opinion of looking at the hug -a -toe girls that there's always going to be Kira um, Kira Etawada, and Kira Selene in their own section, and then the other two in their own, because they are duos. Like, I remember even saying, like, when I was looking at their transformation scene the first time, um, that it does give you feels to, like, Sailor Moon Supers, like, in a nutshell, especially when Usagi and Chibiusa transform together. And so I was like, I like that highlight. I would like to see more kind of duo as transformations and stuff so i mean like especially when we were getting it when it was just prism and sora i mean prism and sky um you kind of gave it to me but you didn't that's why like when i look at duo now like the the greatest is still mahope sky we've talked about that i've even talked about it in the first episode or the first video of Mahot Sky, where I was like, this is what it should have been. And so now looking at the trio portion of it, we're now looking at every other trio when it was the three of them going into the four or five of them. But I mean, yeah, I, I hope that <laughs> Subasa and Agatha, they're able to, you know, have a really good start in their relationship because you can see like <laughs> Baby is over here like, don't call me boy and such. And it's just, they're going to be a little, like, teasing of each other. And I think that's going to be cute, but I think we're going to have a moment where it's going to be an episode strictly focusing on those two, just very similar to the Hugato episode. Because I, I really think they're going to pay homage to that. And I think a lot of people are going to be like, this is this, except it's this version now. So, fingers crossed that happens. But, I mean, I thought it was really sweet that they wanted to make, um, or really have a welcome home, a welcome party for him. Because yes, he is the newest cure in the group and such. And it's we're we're doing the first and such. And we're celebrating that once again, he is the first male cure, even though we had what's his face also from Hugato. Essentially, you know, not really I like to call him the second one because that goes to Picario for Kitty Kitty All the Mode and such. But still you you celebrate that and it's just so cute like the fact is that he wanted to help and everything else. i was like oh my god seriously <laughs> just, oh my god it was just too fucking cute like uh even though mashiro could not make the one thing that he really wanted like it's super adorable and she went all out to try her best the fact is that you know in the end, he had fun making it with them. And, you know, this is his brand new family that he's going to have for, like, a, half, a whole year and such. And now thinking about it, it's going to make the emotional impact of seeing these characters, you know, go their separate ways when we do get to the end of this season and such. It's always, it, it like, especially when I look at it, when the whole group is together um, and such, it just makes it that harder to, like, 
literally say goodbye to them and such because once they all go their separate ways, they're they're never gonna see each other. But we, we know that's gonna happen. They're gonna see each other again. So yes, you have to do it. Every other Pretty Care series has done it except two. We don't talk about those two though. Well, we do, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Hidogato Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode 11. Bye, guys.